So this is about comic strips and character. I have a theory about comic strips that we look at in our childhood and how they influence our character. Now personally, my favorite comic strip was The Phantom. You'd have a hard time finding The Phantom today. But he was a pretty cool superhero in my day. And so The Phantom ruled my imaginative life during my formative years, amongst other comic, comic strip characters, you know. And uh, some, I have to say that some of the qualities that I really admired and followed in my life had to do with that. So, um, let's see, what did the Phantom, he, 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 he used to hang out by himself a lot. He had a sidekick or two, but he spent a lot of time alone in a cave in the country, in a beautiful scenery, like uh, trees and mountains and jungle and stuff like that. So he really liked nature. And another thing is he had some superpowers. So he could do things that other people couldn't do. And one of the things he used to do was to help people in trouble. And so, so I have to say that those were the things that I admired and those were the things that I pursued in my life. And I got to thinking that if, I, if we were to analyze the um, comic book characters that we really liked, their qualities, and then compare them to what we really want, what do, they, what do they provide? What are the good things that they provide? And what are the bad things that, what are the things that we might like to have that they didn't have? You know? And, and just make a list, like, left brain oriented list, the, the good things and the things that they didn't have that we want to have. Maybe we could find another comic strip that has those things and that would really impress our subconscious minds and our vital bodies because they, they really love that stuff. <laughs> so I have an acquaintance who, who really liked Calvin and Hobbes, right? And he used to talk about um, he you know how Calvin had, had a, a wonderful imagination and he was always coming up with all these long stories about dinosaurs and things that weren't really happening but seemed really real to him. And, and in addition, he had a friend, a, a tiger, that protected him. His name was Hobbes. So Hobbes was like protecting his back all the time, right? So this friend found out this, that that he had been doing the Calvin and Hobbes thing for a long time. And so he was very creative, very imaginative, and uh, a very sensitive person. And uh, he was always looking for somebody in his life who, who would protect him, <laughs> which is fine, you know. And so, but the thing is, if you're missing your Hobbes and you're expecting your Hobbes, then that causes trouble. So I think that if we like Calvin and Hobbes, as I did too, you know. It's a good idea to imagine that Hobbes is always what they call holding your back, standing behind you, protecting you. And that will, that will help, I think. That helps me to always feel secure and happy in the world. I know it's a juvenile thing, but that's what the vital body is. It's very juvenile. <laughs> so, Good luck on your comic book researches and your comic book characters and figuring them out and maybe changing the list a little. <laughs> Hope you like that.